All right, so this is a video update of my reptile room. So first down here, we have the blue tongue skink that uh, was a rescue. Uh, he can only be kept in the newspaper because um, he actually had a scab on his eye. And when he shed, the scab came off and a piece of his eyelid came off with it. And he actually had to have uh, reconstructive eyelid surgery but because it would get irritated, he can only be kept on the uh, newspaper. No substrate for him. Um, right here are my pair of giant day geckos. And here's the female right here. <laughs> Not sure. Oh, there's the male. Don't know if you can see him. at the top there. Its head is actually behind the leaf. All right, next is the baby Cuban night and all. And there he is right at the top here. And there he is basking. Uh, next we have Sabrina the Tokay Gecko, and there she is, and her home. Let's see if we can get a view of the top here. Kind of hard to see her pretty colors with it so dark in here. All right. And next we have the lizard playground hung from my ceiling. Um, we also have my crested gecko eggs, fruit that I feed my feeder insects, some crickets, the Cuban night and old cage. Here they are. And this is Godfather. And let's see. Oh, there's Izzy. I don't know if you can see her. And there she is. So under there, I keep superworms and roaches. Feed my guys. Over here are all my crested gecko bins. And baby crested geckos. More babies. There you can see some of them in there. Sorry, there's water droplets. I just watered everybody. This is actually first thing in the morning. So everyone is just waking up or getting ready to go to bed. More babies. More crested gecko bins. All right, so over here we have the Chinese firebelly newt. There he is, right there. He was also a rescue. I don't know how well you can see him. But anyway, so that's where he sits. Uh, my window ledge of supplements and everything else. My little desk. Uh, over here we have Baby Veiled Chameleon. Let's see. It's right there. Here we go. There she is, looking at us. <laughs> Babies are so cute. And that's what she's in for now till she gets a little bit bigger. Now underneath of her are a pair of Toke geckos, Ariel and Eric. And Ariel's at the top. And Eric is over 
over here. You can kind of see them hanging out. And then below them is a rescued Savannah monitor, but I don't think that he's awake yet. No, he's hiding. And next to him is my daughter's axolotl. Uh, not sure where he's at at the moment. And above this is Smeagol, one of the rescued veiled chameleons that had severe metabolic bone disease. I don't know how well you can see him. There he is. <laughs> then we have Wolverine in his cage, and he's shedding right now, as you can see. And here's his cage. And over here we have Mystique, another rescued veiled chameleon. There she is. And that's her cage. Uh, below them are my pair of white line geckos. And let's see. Oh, I see one out over here. I don't know if you can see her. See her white stripe? There she is. I think the male is somewhere else in there. And then this is Anastasia, my female Alcid's chameleon. Here she is. <laughs> And then below her are baby gators. And here they are. Very cute. Now here in this cage is a female Cuban night and all. She's gravid. So I put her in here hoping that she will lay eggs in this uh egg laying bin actually that's behind her. I don't know if you can see her. She's basking right there. Let's see. There she is right there. So this way it'll be easier to collect the eggs. All right. So then over here is another male Alcid's chameleon and his name is Dimitri. And there he is in his cage. And then we've got a little rescued turtle. It's a yellow belly slider. And there he is. So cute. He's actually really very tiny. As you can see, there's my finger. <laughs> All right, so that is my updated reptile room. Here's the overview for you real quick. One end here. And I'm sure I'll have to make another update soon. I'm always getting rescues and always having more babies. <laughs>